What if I told you that for just $20 more, your gaming experience could change completely? Today, we are putting that theory to the test. Is the $30 GTX 960 versus the $50 GTX 980? Two classic GPUs, but only one can be crowned the budget king of 2024. Is that extra cash worth it? Or is a cheaper card hiding a surprise? Let's jump in and find out, shall we? The GTX 960 and the GTX 980 both share NVIDIA's Maxwell architecture, but they differ significantly in performance. The GTX 960 comes with a 1024 CUDA cores, while the GTX 980 doubles that with a 2048, making it far more powerful for gaming and productive tasks. In terms of clock speed, the GTX 960 runs at a base clock of 1127 MHz with a boost up to 1178 MHz, while the GTX 980 starts at a slightly lower base of 1100. 26 MHz but boosts up to 1260 MHz, giving it an edge in raw performance. When it comes to memory, the GTX 960 offers a 2GB or 4GB of DDR5 VM or on a 128 bit memory interface with a bandwidth of 112 uh, gigabits. <coughs> in contrast, the GTX 980 comes with a 4 GB of DDR5 on a wider 256-bit memory interface which doubles its bandwidth to 224 gigabits. This means the GTX 980 handles data transfer much faster and is better equipped for modern games that demand higher memory performance. The GTX 980 has a higher TDP at 165 watts compared to the GTX 960 120 watts. We kicked off our testing with Need for Speed Unbound, running at 1080p on low settings. The results were not what I expected. The GTX 980 delivered a solid performance, averaging between 58 and 68 FPS, ensuring a smooth and immersive racing experience. The visuals were vibrant, enhancing the overall enjoyment of the game. In contrast, the GTX 960 struggled a bit more, managing around 28 to 30 frames. While still playable, you could definitely feel the difference. The gameplay was still fluid, especially during high speed moments or even the action intensified. When we break down the, the numbers, the GTX 980 per outperformed the GTX 960 by about 100. 20 to 130 percent. That's a significant jump, showing that spending that extra $20 really pays off in terms of performance. In our next test, we dove into Elden Ring at 1080p on low settings, and the performance results were quite revealing. The GTX 980 consistently de delivered a, a smooth 60fps, allowing for an immersive experience as I explored the vast landscape and engaged in combat. The visuals were impressive, showcasing the game's artistry beautifully. On the other hand, the GTX 960 managed between 28 to 38 frames. While the frame rate was lower, the gameplay remained surprisingly smooth, with no noticeable input lag or significant frame spikes on either Card. This made for a surprisingly enjoyable experience, even though I definitely got my ass kicked by Radan. So, whether you are using the GTX 980 for the steady 60 FPS or the GTX 960 for a more budget friendly option, both cards hold their ground well. Calculating the performance difference, the GTX 980 was approximately 58 to 144, 114 faster than the GTX 960. If you are enjoying the, con the content and want to see more gaming tests, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Let's find out together which GPU reigns supreme, shall we? In our Apex Legends test at 1080p on low settings, both GPUs showcased their strength, but the difference in performance was very clear. The GTX 980 excelled, achieving an impressive frame rate ranging from 110 to 140 FPS. This high performance translated to battery smooth gameplay, allowing for quick reactions and precise movement in the fast paced environment of Apex Legends. The visual was very vibrant, enhancing the overall gaming experience and making every match enjoyable. On the other hand, the GTX 960 delivered a respectable performance. Performance, averaging between 80 to 100 FPS. While this frame rate is commendable, it didn't quite match the fluidity of the GTX 980. Not, uh, not, nonetheless, gameplay remained smooth and the visuals held up well, providing a solid experience even at lower frame rates. Despite the smooth performance on both cards, my aim was a real challenge during the session. I struggled to hit target. <laughs> <laughs> Even if they felt glued to my gun, the combination of fast paced action and my inconsistent shooting made for some, <laughs> some funny, some funny moment. <laughs> <laughs> to, to break down the performance difference, the GTX 980 was approximately 38.88% faster than the GTX 960 in this test. 
Far Cry New Dawn tested at 1080p on low settings, but GPU showcased their capabilities. But with some not noteworthy difference in performance, the GTX 980 took the lead, achieving a frame rate between 70 and 104 FPS. This high performance ensured a smooth and uh, responsive game, uh, gaming experience, making it easy to navigate the lush environment and engage in intense firefights. The visuals remained vibrant and detailed, capturing the essence of the game's post-apocalyptic uh, world beautifully. Meanwhile, the GTX 960 delivered a solid performance as well, averaging between 50 to 90 FPS. While this frame rate is respectable, it fell short of the GTX 980 flu fluidity. fluidity. I'm sorry, the word is too hard. <laughs> However, gameplay remained smooth and the graphics held up well, allowing for an enjoyable experience. Both cards were also using around 2GB of VRAM, which is impressive given the visuals on display. When calculating the performance difference, the GTX 980 was approximately 32.7% faster than the GTX 960 in this test. In our Warframe test at 1080p on high settings, both GPUs displayed impressive performance, particularly during the game's action-packed sequences. The GTX 980 dominated, achieving an astonishing frame rate between 120 to 180 FPS. This high performance allowed for fluid and responsive gameplay, making every movement and attack feel seamless. Even amidst intensities and explosions, the visuals were striking, showcasing the game's detailed environment and the character designs beautifully. On the other hand, the GTX 960 also performed very well very well, averaging between 110 and 140. While slightly lower than the GTX 980, it still provided a smooth and enjoyable experience, ensuring that the gameplay remained engaging and visually appealing. Both cards maintained good visuals even during chaotic moments, allowing players to dive deep into the action without any significant dips in performance. With over 1000 hours invested in the game, it's clear that Warframe is not only fun but also offers an experience that keeps players coming back for more. When calculating the performance difference, the GTX 980 was approximately 30.77% faster than the GTX 960 in this test. In the battle between the GTX 980 and the GTX 960, it's quite evident that both cards bring their own strength to the table. The GTX 980 shines with its superior frame rates and responsiveness, making it the ideal choice for gamers who prioritize high performance and standard visuals, especially in graphically intense titles like Warframe. On the other hand, the GTX 960 still holds its ground delivering a solid gaming experience with respectable frame rates that cater to budget-conscious gamers. While it may not quite match the GTX 980's prowess, it remains a capable option for those looking to enjoy modern games without breaking the bank. Ultimately, your choice will depend on the gaming, your gaming needs and budget. If you are seeking the best performance possible when enjoy and enjoy diving into intense gameplay, the GTX 980 is hard to beat. But for those who just want to jump into the action without spending too much, the GTX 960 is still a commendable contender. So, whether you're a high-end gamer or a budget-savvy player, let us know which card you think deserves a crown in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for more gaming performance comparisons.